Good morning, and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV of Frederick. My name is Callie Say, and I'm here at TransWest in Horse Trailer Sales. So for those of you that are familiar with us, you know that we are Cimarron and Logan dealers, but we also take in a large variety of used trailers. This is a 2021 Cimarron North Star, four horse living quarters. However, it is actually a used trailer. So you'll go through this, you'll see very, very, very little wear and tear on this trailer. Doesn't even look like a horse was ever even loaded into the horse area. So we're gonna do a tour of this one behind me. You guys can see how you could get a basically new trailer at a used price. So let's go ahead and take a tour. All right, so the first thing, let's talk about some dimensions of this trailer. This trailer is eight foot wide, seven, seven tall, and it's about 30, it's 30 feet, three inches on the floor. You've got an eight foot two gooseneck nose on this trailer. And so it's a really manageable size for a four horse. It's a 12 eight short wall, and it's a Proline XP by Outlaw. So it's a really nice interior. You guys are gonna love the colors on it. Um, underneath this actual trailer here, you've got the nice big wraparound style nose. Some of the operational aspects of this trailer, electric over hydraulic jack, trailer this size, we're not gonna make you crank it up and down. Um, you've got the battery disconnect with your house batteries in here. So if you have this trailer in storage, it's always beneficial to turn that off and make sure that you don't have anything drawn on your battery. Two 20 pound propane bottles. I know some people go in and when we order them for inventory, we usually upgrade to the 30 pound bottles. So if that's something that you guys wanna do, something that can be accomplished afterwards. A little water spigot here. On these Cimarron's, we like to have some exterior water. That way, if you need to wash off your feet, fill a bucket, anything like that, there's a nice little exterior spigot that works with your water pump right there. So as we work our way around here, you'll see what a clean exterior look this one has. It's got those frameless windows on it. Cimarron went to those, and I think it just gives it a really nice clean finished look. The extrusions are carried all the way up to the front here. Once again, really nice and sharp. You've got a huge electric awning over, over the front door area. And, you know, barring a windy day like today, it's really nice. You can get some shade, have a nice place to hang out. It's even got a strip of awning lights underneath it. So if you're out here at night, it's a little fun to be able to set up a little table here and enjoy the night outside. Got a little porch light there and some exterior speakers. Those exterior speakers, like I said, can bring the party outside. Have a nice little, nice little place to get away. Screen door. So if you want to let some fresh air in, if you're just parked here, you can open that up. And then you've got a fold down step getting into the living quarters. That is a must have on these eight foot wides. It just makes it so much easier to get in and out. So in the actual trailer, like I said, this is a Proline XP by Outlaw. So it's built on the same line as all of our custom Outlaw trailers. The Proline XP model is something that we can do for our Outlaws. It's more of a production model. So you don't sacrifice quality at all, but essentially what you get is just fewer options as to the colors you can pick, the different layouts you can do. They've got a lot of really great layouts, and we do a lot of the pro lines for that reason, because we feel like they, they really hit a variety of what people are looking for. If you wanna go full custom and pick your backsplashes, pick your custom um, couches and, and layouts, then a custom outlaw is probably something that we've got for you. We've got a lot of LQs on order, so you can always take an LQ that we have on order and tweak it to your liking as long as it's not beyond a certain point. Up in the bed area, it's a queen bed. Um, they included some, some comforters on this one. Like I said, I couldn't probably differentiate this one from a new one if you were to come in and set them side by side. This trailer is in immaculate condition for a used trailer. You've got day-night blinds 
on on all of your windows so that allows you to have some privacy with some light to be able to come in and then a little bit darker if you want to block out some of the sun the cabinets they're hardwood cabinets on the outlaws so on a custom outlaw one of the no things you would notice that would be different is this backing would go all the way up it's not a huge deal but it's just something that they do on their their custom outlaws you also have a much larger variety of the types of wood and the different stains you can do on an outlaw whereas on a pro line you've got about three options but as you can see it doesn't sacrifice anything in quality it's a beautiful finish on this trailer i think the colors work really well together and all of these cabinets are actually built in-house at outlaw they've got their own custom uh, cabinetry shop there where they dry fit stain re-level everything so these are custom made cabinets specifically for this trailer so once again even though you're in uh, their production model it's still a custom built trailer so lots of storage on this trailer you've got cabinets in the very front of the nose as well as on either side you've got cabinets above this little corner seat here cabinets below the little bench seat underneath your sofa your sofa does fold down if you want to have an additional bed area but underneath it you've actually got a 60 gallon fresh water tank so you've got plenty of onboard water if you are somewhere where you don't have hookups and this trailer is very self-sufficient you've actually got an onboard Onan gas generator it's an Onan 4000 and your controls are actually right here inside so you don't have to crawl up top to access your generator very little hours on this trailer it is a 2021 but like I said very very barely used it's 24.9 hours on that one there's your controls for your electric awning and then something that a lot of people really love when they walk in these trailers is these little hat racks here I think that's probably one of the most noted features that people point out right away it's a small addition but everybody loves those hat holders you've got a little storage for magazines and pamphlets right when you walk in a little safety fire extinguisher so really really great use of space here uh, sink and two burner cooktop it's also got a bathroom sink so you don't have just one sink on this trailer microwave hood light and hood uh, hood vent so if you're cooking here you can get a lot of the fumes moving out but you can also have some light so you can see what you're doing once again just all of this cabinetry is really really great inside of each of the outlaw trailers they'll do a little little um, sticky note there with with all of the numbers outlaw has a 24 7 365 day customer support line so if it's the middle of the night and something is not working you can always call that line up and there's going to be somebody to talk to you on the other line they have the floor plans the electrical diagram for every single trailer they've ever built so if you have a technician looking at your trailer outlaw can tell you exactly what they need to do where they need to look you're not going to reach into a trailer and find wires just hanging out anywhere they utilize these little trap doors for everything so that everything is is nice and tucked away clean neat you're not going to accidentally snag something pulling something out of a cabinet another example of all this closet space on this trailer got a double rod closet right here Dometic fridge and freezer combo so you've got lots of space you can bring just about everything I don't think there was even anything put in these fridge and freezer it's so clean these do run off of LP or electric so you can always set it to auto and it can select the best source of power if you're traveling down the road you don't have to worry about your food spoiling when you go to reach your destination just make sure you've got um, propane flowing in and and everything's working properly before you go over on this wall here couple safety features uh, this is 
a, a solenoid that they use for their propane tanks. So you've actually got a valve that you can open and close. So anytime you need to use propane in your coach, as far as a hot water heater, the fridge, um, the heater itself, you're gonna have to select the valve here. If you push this button, it will open up the valve if everything is okay and there's no issues with it. And what that allows them to do is just have an extra safety feature. You do have a CO2 detector in this trailer, but there's never something, um, there's no, no such thing as being too safe on these trailers. So having an internal uh, valve there is just another safety feature that they've included. Got a Dometic control system for your AC furnace fans. So it's really easy, it's a little touch screen. Um, and then you've got your, your tank monitors here. So your hot water heater as well as your water pump. And then all of your levels for your fresh black, gray, and battery. So nice little place, everything's all kind of tucked together so it's really easy to access everything that you need. More drawers down here as well as um, some more cabinetry below. You've got your six gallon water heater right there. So we like to do those six O's, six gallons on these because they regenerate a lot faster than your 10 gallon hot water heaters. So if you're taking a quick shower and it's back to back with another person, then you're gonna both have hot water or it's gonna regenerate a lot faster. You don't have to wait as long. So in the bathroom, this is a good sized bathroom on this 10-8 short wall. And you've got your water pump underneath the sink there. Once again, another trap door. This work on these trailers. A little bathroom sink as well as a huge vanity mirror here. Once again, lots and lots of storage. I think this is just such a beautiful trailer here. You've got a shower with a skylight above. So if you're tall, it's going to be a lot easier for you to not feel like you're, you're in a showering in a cave in here. And then you've got a little vent here with a little fan. So if you can move that humidity out of here while you're showering. In this cabinet here, once again, another double rod closet. Right here is a table, single leg table with a base. Since you have two different seating areas here, it made more sense to have it on a movable base. That way if somebody's needing a table and sitting at that little corner, corner bench there, they can move it over to them. Or if you're at the couch, you can move it over to you. So just stores in here, nice and out of the way. If you need it, you have one. And then you've got a pass through here into the living or into the horse area. Since this is a four horse, a lot of people will actually use this first stall as more of a mudroom. That's why these pass throughs are so popular. We tend to do a stud divider on the first stall on these trailers, and that's just allows you that if you are using this for for additional storage such as hay, coolers, mudroom coming in and out, then you've got this nice big stud divider here. You don't have to worry about all your stuff sliding back into your horse area. On this particular trailer, they optioned it with drop downs on the head and the hip. So you're gonna get a lot of airflow, which you can see right now, <laughs> moving through this trailer. Every Cimarron comes standard with an insulated FiberTech roof as well as they go in and insulate, line and insulate the horse area itself. So your horses are going to be very comfortable. You're going to be very comfortable in the living quarters, but the horses is why we spend so much money on these trailers. So having them be nice and cool and comfortable as they travel is pretty, pretty important to us. You've got a roof vent over each stall, and then you've got mangers on these last three. So little chest bar here <laughs> so if you've got a horse in that first stall they're not going to come flying out at you another fold down step this is something that was optioned it's just a nice little feature so that um, 
if you're using this as a mudroom, it just makes it so much easier to get in and out. Up front, you've got your, your fresh water fill for that 60 gallon tank that we discussed. You've also got a city connection. So if you are here that you can hook up to, you'll have nice pressurized water. And then your 30 amp service for if you have somewhere that you can plug in. As I mentioned previously, you do have an onboard generator. So if you need power, you've got it just about everywhere you go. Your black and gray tanks are down below. And then this is the access to your exterior hot water heater. All right, so in your actual mangers, you've got three manger doors. Each of them have their own lights on them so you can see what you're doing at night. I've kind of got these windows staggered so you can see the different options you have for these drop downs. You've got the jail bars here so your horses are nice and safe if you need a little bit more airflow. If you need to throw feed in those mangers, you can actually take these jail bars all the way down, have a nice big area to throw some feed in, and then once again, the, the manger storage, just like I said, it goes all the way through to this back here. These trailers were optioned with some nice heavy duty 16 ply 17.5 wheels and tires. Cimarron comes standard with aluminum wheels, so it's not something you have to worry about optioning. They're gonna have a, either a black or a silver option that you can choose from. You can also upgrade to Alcoa's or those heavier duty Continentals if you want. The nice thing about these Cimarron trailers is they are completely customizable. So when it comes to the horse area, really as long as the engineers sign off on it, we can probably do it. Big 16 inch awning lights on either side of this trailer. So if you're tacking up or doing things at night, these will throw off a lot of light for you. You can see exactly what you're doing. Here's your fuel fill for your generator. It is a push pull system. So when you can fill the gas below and then it pushes and pulls that, that fuel up to your generator so you don't have to worry about bringing gas cans crawling up top and fueling it up above. Just makes it really easy. It's down low, fuel your truck, then fuel your generator. On this rear here, you do have an easy angle ladder. You've got a nice big sheeted hay rack up top as well as your generator platform. So you're gonna need a way to get up there and that easy angle ladder pulls nicely away from the side of your trailer so that you don't have to climb straight up the side of a trailer like you do on a lot of brands. It's a really, really small feature, but I think that a lot of people really appreciate it, especially those that are a little bit afraid of heights. Your tack room is a folding rear tack. You've got a removable saddle rack with some, with some uh, bridle, or sorry, blanket bars on the actual post there. So as you can see, these people decided to change up how they had their saddles in this trailer. You just need a little wrench and you can loosen the top and the bottom and you can slide these up and down and completely change how you've got them situated in here. So I really, really like that feature because sometimes we have saddles that need just a little more space or maybe we're not that tall and we want these things down a little bit lower. It just gives you the flexibility of having it set up exactly how you want. We've got some bridle hooks on this door here as well as a brush box. Very usable folding rear tack here. I think that a lot of people that are trying to save on length, this is a really, really great option. If you ever needed to, you could take that saddle rack out, collapse this rear tack, and be able to run a four-wheeler or some, a golf cart back here. It's a really, really great option for people that maybe have have some different hobbies that they want to still be able to camp with this nice living quarters with, but maybe they're not bringing their horses. Padded dividers, you've got partials on these last two dividers here. So really heavy duty extruded aluminum dividers, kick mats all the way up and around. And then you've got rubber mats that you can take in and out and clean. So really, really great setup for this horse area. 
And as I, as you guys can see, it's a used trailer, but it's hardly got any use on it. So if you're looking for a really, really great option that you can have today, this is a really great trailer to check out. So as we work our way around this side here, you'll see that other awning light there. It's a huge awning light, lots of light that'll throw off. You can tie your horses on either side and be able to see what you're doing. You can see how much air those drops on the hip throw in. You've still got bus windows if you want to be able to control and manipulate the air a little bit more. Um, but a lot of people like these drop down windows so that they can drop the hip side, leave the head up, and the horses don't have to worry about all their hay swirling around as they're trying to eat it up front. So we'll go up front here, check out the stock numbers so that if you guys are interested in it, you can check it out on our website. So once again, this is a 2021 Cimarron North Star four horse living quarters. It's just in on trade, very, very clean. You can go to transwest.com, see all the pictures and videos on it. If you guys have any additional questions, my name is Callie Say. My phone number is 970-309-6368. I know our living quarters have been a little bit harder to get our hands on, so having one this clean that's sitting here is a really, really great option for somebody that's ready to start their show season now. So if you guys have any questions, please give me a call. I look forward to answering any questions you might have. Hope everybody has a really great day. Thanks for tuning in.